Hi, I'm Tim Johnson of American Woodworker Magazine, and today I'm going to show you how to flatten stock and mill it to a consistent thickness without using a joiner or a planer. Instead, I'm going to use this simple two-part routing jig. It's kind of like a CNC machine without the CNC. And to build this jig, you only need a router, a straight bit, and some MDF. Here's how the jig works. You fasten the workpiece to the bed and mount the router to a gantry that rests on top of the bed's rails. To flatten the surface, you lower the bit, turn on the router, and slide the gantry back and forth. Stops on the end of the gantry keep you from going too far and cutting into the rails. This milling method is useful for pieces that are too small to safely run through a joiner or planer or too large. In fact, you could use a beefed up version of this jig to surface that giant slab of wood you want to use for a coffee table. However, this method is best for milling pieces that are nearly impossible to successfully join or plane, such as this end grain cutting board, which just happens to be ready to be flattened. The first step is to size the bed's rails so the gantry will sit just above the cutting board surface. As you can see, the rails that I used earlier are too thin, so I'm going to replace them with thicker rails that I made by gluing together two pieces of MDF. Center the cutting board between the rails and then slide shims underneath as necessary Make sure it sits flat. This board has only a tiny bit of rock, so I'm going to try flipping it over instead of installing shims. There, that works perfectly. Next, use hot melt glue to adhere the cutting board to the bed. The gantry is a length of three quarter inch MDF with a hole drilled in the middle and stops attached to both ends. It has to be wide enough to mount the router base and long enough to allow the bit to cut from rail to rail. Install the bit in the router. Any straight bit that's designed to cut a clean bottom will work, such as a hinge mortising bit. I'm going to use a one inch diameter T-slot cutting bit. Cover the cutting board with pencil marks so you can clearly see when the entire surface has been milled. Place the gantry on the rails and then lower the bit to make a very shallow cut. Err on the side of being too shallow. We're finally ready to flatten the surface. Work from left to right as if you were routing an edge. Then back off and return to the starting point and go again. I get the best results when I don't cut on the return pass. Alright, this is what I would call a perfect first pass. You can see that I had the bit set shallow enough to just barely skim off the high spots. Now I know that I can safely lower the bit a little bit and clean up the rest of the surface. This milling process is bound to leave a few marks on the surface. So now's a good time to get out your random orbit sander and give it a good once over with 100 grit sandpaper. Then use an old chisel to cut through the glue so you can remove the top. Any glue that remains on the surface will easily scrape off with the chisel. Flip the board over, re-adhere it, and then repeat the process to flatten the other side. Mm -hmm.